Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Fuxtan Solele and I'm glad you're here. Long time no see. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in like weeks or is it months now? Um, yeah, I've been going through a lot and it's taken a lot out of me uh, creatively, um, physically and mentally I guess as well. So I've had a hard time just coming up with anything and I felt so pressured to perform and do YouTube videos every week because that's what I set myself out to do and I quickly realized that it wasn't sustainable anymore because I was severely burned out. I mean I'm still burned out and um, it it is still an uphill climb but it's it's been better so with this video I'm, I'm trying to get back into the groove um, I can't promise that I'll upload weekly again because uh, I need to look after myself and even though I really would love to um, it's, it's just a lot of pressure to film yourself while you're trying to have fun and create something out of your mind um, and not be repetitive as well. Um, so I'm trying to find a good balance. Um, also I'm, I'm really unhappy with the way I'm filming. Um, like the camera setup and what shots do I get? like. I, I think I'm bad at it, like if I see other people do the work and I'm like wow, I wish I could do that and then I try it and it's just like, I, I, I feel like I lack the fundamental understanding of how to set up YouTube videos, which obviously will get better with time, but until then I'll just try new things, new setups and I hope that I'll find a good niche for myself here. So um, if you're along for the journey, I'm really grateful for you and I hope I still make good content um, and I really hope you enjoy my art still. So with that being said, I want to talk about this illustration for a bit. Uh, as you could probably tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video. This is a fan art illustration um, of Florence Welsh from Florence and the Machine. Uh, I, I, I'm so in love with the band and with Florence herself. She helped me through a lot in life and seeing her in concert uh, like a few years ago was just such a magical experience that I'm still um, dreaming about like she has such a presence and uh, I just love her so on May the 13th um, Friday the 13th actually they released a new album which is um, Dance Fever and man I was excited when they first announced it like I was uh, I couldn't believe my eyes because I was like, wow, a new album? I would have been fine with a single, but a whole new album is just uh, absolutely fantastic, especially when you're in such a bad headspace. So I haven't heard it as of recording this because it's the 12th today, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. Um, but yeah. I wanted to make a tribute to Florence and the Machine and take inspiration from their latest teasers for the album which have all been stunning and I had a hard time picking which image to use as reference and uh, it's been such a blast to look at all the little teasers and um, like the cover for um, What's it called? Put uh, my love, I think it's called. <laughs> I'm sorry if I buttered that, but yeah, I loved all the little uh, illustrations and even just the post that Florence, Florence, <laughs> Florence. <laughs> oh my god, 
I, I think I was thinking of Florence Welsh and it just came out as one word. But uh, she's been posting like a movie lists to watch before Friday the 13th and oh, it has been so good. Um, I was like, what? I rewatched Suspiria because of that and I had a blast. So thanks for that. Um, yeah, and I've been getting back into gouache again which has also been fun. Um, I used to start out with that medium after trying watercolor and Copic and whatnot, but gouache was the first media that I felt really comfortable in and that made me really happy, so I figured I should go back to it and I've been doing some illustrations with it and have been uploading it uploading them to my Instagram which you can check out. Um, I linked it in the bio. <laughs> Shameless self plug. But um yeah this this was a lot of fun um to do even though the colors are really not my style and whenever I work with them I feel really trained because I like to work with high saturation or pastels just just color in general so doing these earthy colors is just a new thing and I'm, I'm not looking forward to it whenever I decide to do one but it's a good practice I feel uh, I showed the gouache that I've used for this at the start. I mainly use Holbein because in my experience they just are the best quality even if they're a little pricey to get where I'm at but it's all worth it in the end I feel. Um, so yeah, also something I did for the background which you won't see later on. I mean I put it in but you won't know what I used but for the dark dark blue in the background I've used some acrylic gouache just because I felt it would be more comfortable to block in the background with a non-reactivating um, color because I wanted to draw the branches on top and stuff so I did a good decision there and I'm glad that I found a good color for the background as well so yeah <laughs> that has been really fun also in this video you can see me use some new brushes they were really cheap and I love those cheap brush sets I don't know what it is but they are always really good to me they hold a point really nice they are the greatest for watercolor obviously because you want to use something that holds the water well which these obviously don't but for acrylics and gouache these are absolutely insane so yeah I, I've been really enjoying using them and they were like only what 9 euros or something for a 12 pack I feel so that's a real deal right there <laughs> um, yeah the process is my usual one um, just mainly filling in all the areas with the colors and then going in for more detail although I preemptively started to work on the face which I kind of stopped myself from doing and yeah uh, my favorite part was probably the hair and all the details but yeah um, what else did I want to say about this uh, I, I really lost practice with doing voiceovers but here I am trying so <laughs>
Also, I'm sorry if the um, video is shaky at times. I've tried a new setup because usually I've been um, filming with the drawing board that I have or the table that I have like flat. And I've noticed that it's really straining on my neck. Um, and so I've set up my drawing. It's not a tablet, it's a easel. Eel? I don't know what's the word um, or how to pronounce it rather. So I set it up at an angle to work more ergonomically, I feel. Um, and I clamped my um, tripod on the drawing board. So whenever I did something a bit more aggressively, the whole thing began to shake. And I'm sorry if um, it also made my recordings shaky. I tried to fix it in post for a bit, but yeah, I'm not too experienced with video editing to do a good job, so I'm sorry. I, I'll try to get a better arrangement next time, or I don't know, but yeah. It also wasn't really good to um, draw with that thing set up because it was always in my way, but if you have any good recommendations for tripods, uh, I'll be happy to see them because I'm not really happy with how my setup is but I don't have anything else right now so it's gotta work <laughs> yeah but I'm sorry about that If you're listening, are you a fan or supporter or whatever, lover <laughs> of Florence and the Machine? If so, please let me know uh, what's your favorite song or what's your favorite album. Um, I really can't decide. I think I really like Hunger um, just because I relate to that song. But I think I've listened too much to it now, so I need to take a little bit of a break. Uh, I, I also like Heavy in Your Arms a lot, it's oh, it's such a deep, deep text and uh, I love it and the, the sound is so heavy, but uh, it's like picking one of your favorite children, I feel like there's so many good songs and you keep coming back and finding new love in old songs, so um, Florence and the Machine really does me well, I feel. Also, I have the poem book by Florence, and if you like that sort of scrapbook poem kind of vibe for books, I'm sure you'll love it. Um, it's really nice, especially since it's like a fabric type of cover, but just feeling it in your hands is really nice, and looking at all the pages and the handwriting it's just giving me so much inspiration and joy also i just really like the way she writes so if you like florence and the machine you should probably check out the book um i don't think you'll regret it
with this video I also try to add some more real-time footage um, especially when I did like the hair strands and all the details because I thought that was really fun to do so I guess watching it would also be fun at least that's what I thought in my mind um, if you don't like it you can always tell me but I like the um, uh, what's it called Like the the difference between like um, having sped up parts and like the real time footage is kind of fun to me. So I'm always trying to figure out a good balance of what's interesting and what's not. So yeah, I hope it works out. <laughs> also, something I've been trying to figure out is like doing a meet the artist type of video. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that, but it sounds really um, not productive, but something that brings you closer to your audience um, and to the community of you. Because you're not just some voice who does art. Um, if you have an idea of the person behind it, it's kind of more fun at times. Um, that being said, I'm a little bit afraid of doing some filming of myself so I'll see how that goes if I just do some art of myself and let that speak for itself but if you have any ideas about that I'm grateful <laughs> for anything um, but yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find out new types of content or videos I can make I hate using the word content but yeah that's how I kind of feel about it. Like it's content for YouTube videos, so yeah. Also, I recently got the poster paint um, set by Hey Kala, which is really fun, and I've been wanting to try that out and maybe make a video out of it if you're interested. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on in my head about YouTube videos and whatnot.
at the end of this illustration I was really running out of steam just because of the colors and because I wanted to do a good job and because I was filming again it was all sorts of pressure I put on myself so I kept holding off on doing her face and especially the eyes because I wanted to treat myself at the end so when I finally got around to do the eyes uh, it was so fun and I think they turned out really nice um, they really bring the whole illustration together it's really um, crazy how that works like it's such a small detail but the eyes really do change a lot and the focus really shifts when you add those in uh, also when you're adding in later on the catch lights and other white stuff it just makes an illustration come to life I feel and it's really fun to see So at the end I was adding in some gold um, just because I felt like the cape she was wearing and the promo pictures were kind of metallic and I wanted to give that sort of feel. So I hope it translates well, I'm not sure if it does, but I like the effect nonetheless. Um, the dry brushing really gives it some texture which I like. Um, and if you shift the portrait or yeah, it's a portrait, the illustration, I should say that um, and the light, it really shifts to gold and it looks really good in my opinion at least and I'm glad I found that paint because it's such an effortless job to paint with it. With that we are done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the process for this illustration. I hope you enjoy the album if you're gonna listen to it. Um, tell me if you've listened to it already and if you liked it. Uh, at the end you can see some of the color swatches I had on my palette and the gold shiny detail a bit better. 
Um, if you want, you can leave a comment and a like. Um, subscribe, I would really appreciate. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.